First words with Peppa Pig. Level 1. Hide and seek. Meet Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, and Mummy Pig. Learn, come, find, in, little, look, me, one, play, see, three, two, you. Read, hide and seek, box. Go and play for a little bit, you two, said Mummy Pig. You can play hide and seek, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> George, you run and hide. I can come and look for you, said Peppa. George is little. George can play hide and seek, but Mummy Pig must help him to play. Run and hide, George. Peppa can come and find you, said Mummy Pig. One, two, three, said Peppa. George is little. He can hide in a little gap. I can see you, George, said Peppa. Next, I will run and hide. You can come and look for me, said Peppa. Mummy can help you play, George, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> One, two, three, said Mummy Pig. Peppa ran away to hide. I can see a little box to hide in, said Peppa. George is little. He can come and look for me. He will not find me in here said Peppa. George ran to look in the little gap. No Peppa. Come and find me, said Peppa. George had a look. He did not see Peppa in the little box. Come and find me, said Peppa. George had a look, but he still did not see Peppa in the box. Where is Peppa? George will not look in this little box. He cannot find me, said Peppa. George did look in the little box. He did not see Peppa. One, two, three, pop! Look at me in the box, George, said Peppa. <laughs> Hide and seek is fun to play. <laughs> the end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 1. Paper Planes. Meet Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, Mummy Pig, and Mr. Rabbit. Learn, ah, away, can, help, it, make, who, up, we, read, newspaper, paper planes, paper. Daddy Pig is in a rush to go away. Can we help? said Peppa and George. I cannot find the big plan for Mr. Rabbit, said Daddy Pig. Peppa and George go to see Mummy Pig. Can we make paper planes? said Peppa. You can. You can bend bits of paper into paper planes. I will help, 
said Mummy Pig. <coughs> the paper planes go up and away. Can you help us make the next paper plane? <coughs> said Peppa. You can make it, Peppa. George can help you. You can get a bit of paper and bend it, said Mummy Pig. Wow. Peppa and George go away to find a bit of paper. They find a big plan. This can make the best paper plane, said Peppa. <laughs> Daddy Pig is back from his job. I did not find the big plan for Mr. Rabbit. Can you help me find it? He said. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we can make a paper plane, said Peppa. I can make it go up and away, said Daddy Pig. The paper plane is up, up and away. The paper plane is here. Mr. Rabbit can see it. Wow. Daddy Pig, you sent the big plan to me, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, oh said Daddy Pig. You can rest in the sun, said Mr. Rabbit. Daddy Pig sat in the sun. <laughs> can you help make a paper plane for me and George, said Peppa. Where can we find a bit of paper to make it? said Daddy Pig. Peppa can find a bit of paper. Hooray! The newspaper planes go up and away. Whee! My newspaper plane is the best, said Peppa. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Rebecca Rabbit This is Peppa's friend, Rebecca Rabbit. Rebecca is very good at swimming. Paddle your arms, says Rebecca. And kick your legs, says Peppa. Rebecca's house is called a burrow. It is underground. Oh. Where are your stairs? asked Peppa. We don't have stairs, says Rebecca. We have tunnels instead. Wow. Rebecca has a big family. There's her mummy, her daddy, and her little brother Richard. And here are the baby twins, says Rebecca. Peppa nods. <coughs> Hello, Robbie and Rosie. Rebecca and Peppa go to the petting farm together. They like to stroke the tiny animals. Look at their cute little faces, cries Rebecca. <sighs> and their fluffy little bodies, says Peppa. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Rebecca. Sometimes she pretends to be a rabbit too. All she has to do is twitch her nose and squeak. <laughs> Peppa loves Rebecca Rabbit. Everyone loves Rebecca Rabbit. <laughs> the Peppa Pig, Freddy Fox. <laughs> this is Peppa's friend, Freddy Fox. Freddy likes playing pretend. Wow! I'm a policeman, says Freddy. And you're under arrest. <laughs> Snorts Peppa. What a funny game. <laughs> Freddy is very musical. He can play the triangle. I can play the guitar, says Peppa. Let's play together, says Madame Gazelle. 
Freddy is very good at smelling. He has a super nose. What do I smell of, Freddy? Hmm. Freddy sniffs. Flowers and muddy puddles. Peppa and Freddy like going to new places. They even have fun at the supermarket. <laughs> it's a fruit day, says Miss Rabbit. Who would like a smoothie? Me please, shouts Freddy. And Peppa. Hmm. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Freddy. Inside Mr Fox's van, there is a treat for Freddy. And one for his good friend Peppa. Peppa loves Freddy Fox. <laughs> Everyone loves Freddy Fox. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Royal Party. <laughs> Peppa and her family were very excited when Mr. Zebra, the postman, arrived with a special letter. This is for you, Mummy Pig, he said. It has a crown on it. I think it must be from the Queen. Wow! Mummy Pig opened the envelope very carefully. What does it say? <coughs> cried Peppa. <coughs> It's an invitation, said Mummy Pig. The Queen is giving me an award for the book I wrote. Wow! She has invited us and her friends to her Platinum Jubilee garden party. Hooray! Oh, goody, said Peppa. What's a Platinum Jubilee party? It's a special party to celebrate the Queen having been Queen for 70 years, explained Daddy Pig. <laughs> wow, gasped Peppa. She must be nearly as old as you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig chuckled. Almost, he said. <laughs> Peppa phoned her friends to invite them to the Queen's party. <laughs> there will be lots of guests. Peppa told Rebecca Rabbit. Wow! I'll ask my mummy to pack a giant picnic, said Rebecca. Hmm. The Queen has a big garden, Peppa told Susie Sheep. We should take some games to play. Yippee! <laughs> cried Susie. I'll do that. <laughs> what should I wear? <laughs> asked Danny Dog. Your smartest clothes said Peppa, and bring boots for jumping in puddles. <laughs> oh no, just what to pack, said Freddy Fox. <laughs> the Queen sent a big red bus to take everyone to the palace. Are you sure we need all these bags? asked Danny Pig. You can't turn up to a royal party without bringing anything, said Mummy Pig. That'd be very rude. Oh, very true, said Daddy Pig. We wouldn't want to be rude. Peppa and her friends made up a song on their way to the palace. They sang it very loudly. It's the royal party today, let's sing all the way. It's the royal party today, hip hip hooray. <laughs> As the bus got closer to the palace, there were lots of people setting up their own garden parties for the Queen's Jubilee. <coughs> Peppa and her friends tried to do special little royal waves. <laughs> Lots of people are celebrating with the Queen today, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> when they arrived at the palace, everyone was very excited. <coughs> I think there will be a giant chocolate fountain. <coughs> whispered Susie. Seventy giant chocolate fountains, said Freddy. I think she will have an enormous gold cake, whispered Peppa. Seventy enormous gold cakes, said Freddy. 
the doors opened and they were led out to the palace gardens. They were surprised to see no food or drinks or games. Ooh, oh, hello, Dell, said the Queen. Thank you for coming. I'm afraid we had a slight hiccup. Sorry to hear you have hiccups, Your Majesty, said Peppa. No, I'm quite all right, replied the Queen. It's my party planner. He got the date muddled up. He thought the Jubilee was tomorrow. So we cannot have my party today. Oh no! <gasps> Everyone gasped. But you must have your party, your majesty, said Peppa. Must I? asked the queen. Oh yes, said Peppa. The whole country is waiting to celebrate with you. Oh. I'm not sure I can, said the queen. I don't have any party things. <sighs> We've brought some with us. What do you need? asked Peppa. <coughs> That's very kind, but we need an awful lot, said the Queen. Food for all the guests. My mummy sent this picnic for everyone, said Rebecca, unpacking a giant picnic with plates of cakes, sandwiches and jellies. <sighs> My dad packed these teapots and chairs, said Freddy. They're made of real fake gold. This picnic looks wonderful, said the Queen. But what will we do other than eat and drink? I don't have any games. Oh. I have these, Your Majesty, <laughs> said Susie, who had three big boxes of garden games. Wow! Will they be okay? <laughs> what Fun, said the Queen. Yes, they will do quite nicely. <coughs> Peppa and her friends pulled out balloons, bunting, and even a music box from their bags. Soon the garden was transformed into a royal party fit for a Queen. How extraordinary, said the Queen. You have brought everything one needs for a royal party. <coughs> You could say we pulled it out of the bag, ma'am, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> when the other guests started to arrive, they were very impressed. <whistles> it looks wonderful, they said. This is the best jubilee ever. <whistles> the Queen presented Mummy Pig with her award. <whistles> then everyone tucked into the picnic. <whistles> but as they finished eating... Oh no, gasped the Queen. I believe it's raining. Whatever shall we do? Don't worry, said Peppa. I've got an idea. Peppa whipped out a pair of boots with a crown on them and pointed at a muddy puddle. I brought a spare pair of boots for you, Your Majesty. How delightful, Peppa said the Queen. I dare say a royal party is not a royal party without some muddy puddle jumping. <coughs> Three cheers for the Queen and Peppa, everyone cried. <coughs> that evening, everyone sat down to watch the Queen make a speech. I would like to thank Peppa Pig, said the Queen. Without her help, my Platinum Jubilee would not have gone ahead. Oh. I'm giving her the Queen's Award for Royal Party Planning. Hooray! One does love a royal party, said Mummy Pig. Everyone loves a royal party. The end. Peppa Pig and the Easter Rainbow Peppa and George are going on an Easter egg hunt. 
I want to find lots of eggs, one in every colour, says Peppa. George finds the first egg. It is red. Peppa finds the next one. Wow! Look, George, it's orange. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig are hunting too. Mummy finds an egg in a colour she loves. Yellow. Daddy Pig looks everywhere. I know there's an egg around here somewhere, he says. Oh, there we go, he says. A green egg for me. <laughs> this is fun, says Peppa. She and George want to look for more eggs, but the grass is too high. <whistles> Don't worry, Peppa, says Daddy. I'll mow it. <laughs> Daddy gets out the lawnmower. He pushes. <laughs> Crack, snap. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Daddy Pig's lawnmower won't work. Maybe I can fix it, says Daddy Pig. I think we need help, said Mummy Pig. Here comes Grandpa Pig. His big lawnmower will cut that grass fast. Back and forth he goes. Now Peppa and George can look for more coloured eggs. Blue for George. Indigo and violet for Peppa. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have gathered a lot of Easter eggs. Drip, 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 drip. It starts to rain. Oh no! But then, just as quickly, the sun comes out. Do you know what happens when it's sunny and rainy at the same time? Asked Mummy Pig. I know, says Peppa. You get a rainbow! Everyone looks up. A beautiful rainbow stretches across the sky. Air, says George. <laughs> and do you know what's at the end of the rainbow? Asked Daddy Pig. Oh. Treasure, let's find it, shouts Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her family follow the rainbow in the car. Uphill and down. Peppa looks at the rainbow. She looks at the eggs. Look, she says. We found eggs in every colour of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Wow. <laughs> Peppa makes an Easter egg rainbow. Daddy Pig points. I think the treasure is right over there. <laughs> Everyone goes to the treasure. A great big muddy puddle for jumping. <laughs> the end. Peppa the Easter Bunny. Peppa is painting a picture of the Easter Bunny with some yummy chocolate eggs. Let's have a surprise Easter egg hunt, George, she cries. We can hide the eggs in the garden, then our friends can come and look for them. Oh. Yippee! Cheers, George. Mummy and Daddy Pig help Peppa and George decorate Easter eggs and hide them in the garden. You're just like the Easter Bunny, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. Peppa giggles. I am the Easter Bunny, she says, hopping around like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Daddy, 
says Peppa, when they finish hiding the eggs. Can I surprise my friends and dress up as the Easter Bunny? Cheep <coughs> cheep, asks George. <coughs> hmm, says Daddy Pig, thinking. Let's see what we can find in the dressing up box. <laughs> in no time, Peppa is dressed as the Easter Bunny and George is dressed as a chick. Wow! Perfect, says Daddy Pig proudly. Your friends will be here soon, says Mummy Pig. I'll help you hide so you can surprise them. Just then, the doorbell rings. Daddy Pig answers the door. It's Peppa's friends. <laughs> We're here for Peppa and Georgie's surprise Easter egg hunt, <laughs> says Danny Dog excitedly. Splendid. This way, please, says Daddy Pig, leading them to the garden. <laughs> Ready, steady, hop! shouts Daddy Pig. Peppa's friends set off hopping, skipping and running around the garden, looking for eggs. Found one, says Susie Sheep. <coughs> Me too, <coughs> says Danny. This is the best Easter egg hunt ever, Meow. cries Candy Cat. <coughs> We've all found an egg, <coughs> says Susie. But where are Peppa and George? <coughs> The children hear a tap, tap, tap noise coming from behind a bush. Oh! Look, gasped Pedro Pony. There are two giant Easter eggs left. <coughs> the children run over as the giant eggs begin to crack. Tap, 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 tap. <coughs> and out jump Peppa and George. <laughs> Surprise! says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa the Easter Bunny, gasped the children. And George the Chick. <laughs> Did you like our surprise Easter egg hunt? <laughs> asked Peppa. Yes! <laughs> Everyone cheers. Everyone loves the Easter egg hunt. Everyone loves Peppa the Easter Bunny. And George the Chick. The end. Peppa Pig, George's Birthday. <laughs> it's George's birthday today. <laughs> Mummy Pig hands George a box wrapped in green paper. Happy birthday, George, she says. Dinosaur! <laughs> cries George, pulling out a purple dinosaur. <laughs> I knew it would be a dinosaur, Stinky, <laughs> says Peppa. George waves the toy dinosaur at Peppa. <laughs> Too scary, <laughs> cries Peppa. <laughs> Peppa has painted a card for George. <laughs> I was going to paint a flower, says Peppa, but George does not like flowers, so in the end I painted a dinosaur, cries George. <laughs> Mummy Pig tells George that they are going somewhere very special for his birthday treat. Hooray! Yippee, shouts Peppa. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> You'll see says Daddy Pig. <laughs> George's birthday treat is a visit to the dinosaur room at the museum. Wow! George loves dinosaurs. They are his favourite thing in the whole world. <laughs> Not silly old dinosaurs again, <laughs> groans Peppa. George stops in front of a big green dinosaur. He is standing on a yellow cross. <laughs> There's a beep, and then roar. George jumps and begins to cry. It's not real, George, says Mammy Pig. Don't be frightened. 
It's just a robot, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts George at the Robo Dino. <laughs> and there's another surprise, says Mummy Pig. All of Peppa and George's friends are here. Hooray! Happy birthday, George, says everyone. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a delicious birthday cake for George. Hmm. I knew it would be a dinosaur cake, <coughs> says Peppa. <coughs> Mummy Rabbit laughs. <laughs> what an amazing guest, Peppa. It's time for one last surprise, says Daddy Pig. Can you guess what it is? Something to do with dinosaurs, says Peppa. Everybody runs outside to see. It is a bouncy castle in the shape of a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. George loves bouncy dinosaurs, and so does Peppa. <laughs> the end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more. <laughs>